from Linmar High School, where educational excellence is a tradition. Live on tape from our Media Center studios, this is Linmar News. Good morning, Linmar. From the class of 2007, I'm former LMTV anchor and social studies teacher, Jordan Printy. I'm former LMTV anchor, Sarah Kelly, class of 2004. I'm now an ELL teacher here at the high school. It's Tuesday, May 29th, 2018, LMTV's 15th birthday. And from the class of 2004, I'm Alex Hayek, now an Excelsior teacher teaching social studies at Linmar. Here's a look at the stories making the news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, guess what? Final start today. LMTV Stacia has the latest from the office. Stacia? Thanks, Mr. Hayek. The administration wants us to remind you, you must be on time for your finals, no exceptions. You will not be allowed in the hallways after the bell or during passing time. You may leave the building if you are not testing or stay and study in the South Commons. Pride Rock and the Four Quarters are always closed during testing. And here's the best part, all students can park on campus during finals. But don't park in visitor or staff parking. Mr. Hayek, back to you. Thanks, Stacia. Isn't she wonderful? Finals can be rough, however. Never fear, the dogs will be here. Therapy dogs will be on the South Commons and Four Corners tomorrow before school. There will also be open gym tomorrow during lunch from 11.45 to 12.15. The counselors also suggest plenty of sleep, making time for exercise, eat healthy, get organized, listen to music, but not during finals. In other news, the class of 2018 made it official during their commencement ceremony. LMTV's Jenna has the story. Thanks, Mr. Hayek. On a very warm day outside, fortunately, it was nice and cool inside Summer the U.S. Army Center Sunday afternoon. The speeches began with a salute to everybody's favorite substitute teacher, Mrs. Benda. We hope she's not in the witness protection program since she promptly covered her face with the graduation program during her tribute. A serious moment came during another salute. The speaker made a note of the large bouquet of flowers at the front of the stage that were placed there to remember classmate Selena Apodaca, who died in a car crash on Country Home Road nearly two years ago. Then came speeches from salutatorian Daniel Lowe and the valedictorian Matt Came, Matt Pang, after which Dr. Gustafson declared to the superintendent, she superintendent Shepherd that members of the 20 class of 2018 the 59th graduating class, the largest ever from Linmar High School, had met the graduation requirements. As always, it was a classy ceremony and a very special event. Congratulations, graduates. Mr. Hayek, back to you. Thanks, Jenna. If you have outstanding parking fines or any unserved detentions, you will not be allowed to enter, enter Linmar Parking Lottery for the next school year. No exceptions. We'll be back with more LMTV News right after this. A is for all right. R is for ready. And T is for tonight. Y is for you, because you know what to do. You've, You've got, got to party. party. Or you could go to the water park. Go to a baseball game. Volunteer at the hospital. Go camping. Whatever you do, have a happy, safe summer. See you next year. Welcome back. Now Jordan joins us with sports. Thanks, Alex. On the scoreboard, baseball beat Bettendorf 7-4 in the first game of Friday night. Our guys were leading in the second game when it was canceled due to lightning. Congratulations to Ben Hediger and Luke Van Donsler. They are the Class 2A state runner-up in boys' tennis doubles. The team of Jack Gertzen and Lucas Huffman took fifth. Zach Glanz was injured during singles play, taking eighth place. Today in Linmar Sports. Varsity Girls Golf is at the state meet in Marshalltown. Varsity Boys Tennis is at their state meet in Ankeny. 10th grade baseball plays at Dubuque Hempstead, team dismissed at 12:15. Varsity Baseball hosts Hempstead over at Oak Ridge, and 9th grade White Baseball plays at Prairie at 5. And Varsity Softball plays at Kennedy at 5:30. In other sports news, cheer on the girls soccer team as they take on Dubuque Senior at our stadium tomorrow night at 6. Any girls thinking about joining the swimming and diving team next fall should come to a meeting today at 345 in the Aquatic Center. That's sports. Alex, back to you. 
And news from the counselors, if you plan to take Kirkwood classes this fall, you'd better act fast. Class registration closes on Fridays. Pick up registration form in the College Career Center. For more information on this story, stop by your counselor's office and check out their website. Now, Sarah is here with Arts and Clubs. On the Arts and Clubs scene, LMTV has immediate openings for anchors and crew for next year. We highly recommend it. LMTV worked for me. Stop by the studio before school this week and talk to Mr. Fry or Student Station Manager Libby Moore. LMTV is a great way to earn cords hours. That's Arts and Clubs. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, Jenna, what's for lunch? Well, I think I have that. But I'll take lunch, Alex. Thanks. <laughs> uh, for lunch downstairs, it's Cook's Choice. And in the food court, you guessed it, Cook's Choice. That's lunch. Back to you. Sounds delicious. Your LMTV forecast for another warm day. Lots of sunshine and 91 degrees. Tomorrow, you may hear a few rumbles of thunder. Don't be scared during finals. We'll see an afternoon high of 84. Thursday will be sunny and 89. That's a wrap for this year's last edition of LMT News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website or follow us on Twitter. And from the entire casting and crew, thanks for watching. Good luck on finals. <laughs>